Hey guys, it's 1280. What's going on? Well, I'm here in the garage talking with. Hello. <laughs> uh. There's, yep. Yeah. And um, so I got a quick update on the Sears. I um, put the reinforcement bracket on the door with half its bolts. That way, that thing ain't going nowhere. And I wanted to show you uh, an issue with the Sears and see if you guys can help me. As you can see, none of my remote's not working. But if I take something like this pole and hit the back of the logic board, and then I hit the button, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Really? Okay, we're going to try this again. Hit the back of the logic board, hit the button, it works. But, and here's what's weird, is if I don't touch this now for five minutes, it will no longer respond to any remotes. So, what is the glitch there? Oh, by the way, I have my 78 on them hooked up. Light. Lock. Which I'm assuming it does work. Yep. Lock off. And it works. So... What do you think that glitch is, guys? That'd be good to know. Whatever glitch that is, that'd be good to know. And um, turn the light off. And here, we'll um, hold the lock button to change the light delay to a minute and a half. Because it's on a four and a half minute uh, delay right now. And wait for it. I guess it doesn't, you can't change the light delay on a green alarm button. That is weird. I guess on a green alarm button, you can't change the light delay. That is weird. Huh. Anyway, what do you guys think the glitch is of why this is intermittent like that? Let me know. That'd be great to know why it's intermittent like that. So, anyway, I'll catch you later. Yeah. Anyway, okay.